My name's Rudy, darling, and um, I'm playing Medvedenko, or, or Semyon. He thinks very, very logically. He, he's, he's worlds apart from someone like um, Constantine. He's at the completely other end of the spectrum. Medvedenko has no artistic flair. He, he sees the world in black and white, he's very objective. He has a lust for, for knowledge, you know, he's a man of science. And he, he's a teacher, he's a teacher. What kind of teacher is open to debate, um, but I've come to the conclusion that he's probably either a science teacher or a geography teacher. I'm, I'm swaying towards geography, I don't know why. I imagine he's the kind of person that he's always been badgered by the, by the head. Um, for, for sticking to the curriculum rather than going off on, on random tangents, which he has a tendency to do. He's very, very kind, he's very generous, he's got a lovely heart, and I think he's quite possibly the only sane character in the play. <laughs> I think with Arena, he's, he's really intrigued by her and he's really, really curious. She's, she's incredibly famous and she's, a, she's this great actress and um, that's a, a world that he has had no connection with whatsoever. Um, and he's quite starstruck by her as well. They don't really have any, any exchanges as such, but he likes her. I think he likes her. The scene just before the play, just before Constantine's play, uh, where she breaks out into Hamlet, I think that he really relishes that and he, he, he recognises it. He's having to cope with an incredible amount of pressure. You know, looking after his, his mother, his two sisters. Um, he's a poor teacher. They live in one room together, um, and he's the, he's the sole you know wage earner. He's the breadwinner. He wants to, to settle down with someone, and that is that is Marsha. Marsha and, and Medvedenko are peers. Medvedenko is probably a little bit older than Marsha, but they've certainly grown up together. So he genuinely loves her, um, and unfortunately, you know, it's not returned. You know, another play case of. You know, unrequited love, which this play is essentially all about, and he'd love to get inside that head of hers to to, to understand whether, whether whether she does have any kind of feelings for him whatsoever, because mm -hmm. um, he doesn't know where he stands with her.